Crime scene experts take the stand in the Misty Stoddard trial today. Among the things they testify about is the board the state says that Melissa Stoddard was often strapped to. Prosecutors are trying to show a pattern of abuse. But there was also some interesting testimony from Misty Stoddard's cellmate. Joining us now live again from the Judicial Center where the trial is being held is my SNN co-anchor Amber Stidham. Hi Amber. Hi, Mike. Thanks again. We are live here at the Sarasota County Courthouse, and we did hear uh, immediately this morning we heard from federal investigators on the evidence found inside and around the Stoddard home, but it was the former cellmate of Misty Stoddard, and Misty Stoddard met this cellmate when as soon as she came to the Sarasota County Jail. They were spent six days together in the medical wing, both pregnant. That was emotional testimony as a cellmate describes hearing what Misty said about the night Melissa stopped breathing. So for me, it was clearly to be a voice for Melissa Stoddard. Barbara Whitaker recalls what she says her cellmate Misty Stoddard revealed about the night of December 12th, 2012. The night Misty's stepdaughter, 11-year-old Melissa Stoddard, stopped breathing. Uh, Misty Stoddard was extremely upset that Melissa was still screaming. So she proceeded to go into the bedroom and um, duct, tape, duct taped her mouth. Whitaker has 25 convictions on her record, including grand theft auto. The state apparently worked out a plea deal for Whitaker, which included a lesser sentence for her testimony. But the exchange became tense during the cross-examination concerning the plea deal Whitaker agreed to. The majority of my four and a half months in jail this time, I've pretty much done in a jail pod. 202 every day, all day. She gets out more than I do. So you're mad at her because you're stuck in yourself. I'm not mad, sir. This is about getting justice for a child. And you're the person to get the justice. I'm the voice for her, maybe. Maybe not the justice. I, I'm, I'm guilty of many things. Like you said, I have 25 felonies. But I'm not guilty of abusing my children. An emotional Whitaker insisting it was not about the plea deal. Do you also desire to give Melissa Stoddard the justice that she deserves. Yes, I do. The prosecution anticipates they will rest their case by Thursday afternoon, focusing the attention on Misty's defense. Say that Whitaker did receive an additional plea deal, and Whitaker did admit to being on methadone when she came into the jail. That is a drug known to treat narcotic addiction. Mike? Very interesting testimony from the cellmate, Amber, but we also talked about the uh, crime scene investigators who talked about that same duct tape and that board evidence. Uh, what do you what can you tell us about that? Yes, that's right. Well, we did hear from a crime scene technician from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, as well as an FBI forensics investigator. And I can tell you the FD, FDLE analyst did find, did say that she found traces of blood on the board that matched both Misty, Melissa, and uh, Kenneth Stoddard, while the FBI examiner did talk about the duct tape examinations. She said that the duct tape did match uh, what was on the helmet that was also found in the evidence as well. And Amber, real quick, uh, we understand prosecution may rest their case uh, tomorrow. Is that what you're hearing? Yes, we are hearing that the prosecutors anticipate being finished by Thursday around noon, in which case the case will turn over to the defense. All right. Amber Stidham reporting to us live from outside the Sarasota Judicial Center. We'll be checking back with you in a little bit, Amber. Thank you.